Hello there and welcome to the web news where that pick of the stories making the online headlines. Coming up on today's show, American web users pay tribute to Anthony Robinson. Chilean web users take on a mining group and a daring duo race to the top of a building before jumping off. Emotions are running high among web users in the US following the fatal shooting by a white police officer of an unarmed black teenager, Anthony Robinson Jr., in the city of Madison, Wisconsin, on Friday night. The story has sparked outrage and anger across the country. Web users have taken social networks in their droves, sending their condolences to the 19-year-old's family and friends and voicing their anger over what they see as yet another example of police violence against the black community. Many have posted under the Rest in Peace Anthony Robinson hashtag in solidarity with the victim and to urge US police officers to moderate their use of force so as to avoid tragedies like this in the future. Some web users have been paying tribute to Anthony Robinson by sharing photos of him before Friday's tragic events. The aim being to put a face to the name and to ensure his memory lives on and he's not forgotten. And while a lot of Americans have turned to the web to express their sadness and frustration, others have staged rallies. As we can see from these amateur documents that have been doing the rounds online, hundreds gathered in Madison over the weekend to demand the judicial authorities launch a full and immediate investigation into the shooting of Anthony Robinson. Residents from the Chilean town of Cayamanes are taking on Antofagasta, the Chilean mining group that runs the neighboring Los Palambres mine. They say the mine is causing water shortages and pollution in, in the area, and back in October, the court ruled that the mine had affected the course of a nearby river and told the company to let the water flow naturally and contamination-free, something they have yet to do. So thousands of locals have taken to Twitter, posting under the Cayamanes Resist and Yo estoy con Cayamanes hashtag, meaning I am with Cayamanes, saying the mining company's inaction is unacceptable. They're stressing that access to water is a fundamental right and not a luxury for a privileged few. Protesters are also criticizing the local authorities, saying they're not doing enough to rectify the situation. Some even talk of corruption. This video was made by locals in Caymanes and suggests the powers that be are in cahoots with Antofagasta and the Luxic family which owns the mine, which is why they've been allowed to continue activity. The campaigning is now spread to the streets where there have been numerous clashes between police and protesters over the past few weeks. The police have come under, come under fire on Twitter with posts saying they should be ensuring the mining company respects the court ruling instead of focusing their energy on repressing demonstrators. Maternal deaths have dropped by 45% since 1990, but there are still 800 women dying every, dying every day from maternal causes. The number of women holding parliamentary seats has doubled over the past 20 years, but only to 22%. And women earn between 10 and 30% less than men for doing the same job. This infographic was put together by the UN and shows that we still have some way to go before achieving global gender equality. The Dancing Man social media campaign was started to track down a British man who became the target of cruel jibes on the 4chan platform where he was shamed for dancing in public. Dancing Man has since been found and a dance party has been organised in his honour. And it looks set to be a big night with Pharrell Williams and Moby offering to DJ and perform for free, saying no one should ever be made to feel ashamed about dancing. American body painting artist Natalie Fletcher paints clothing on bodies, creates trippy illusions that obscure the true human form, and she also camouflages bodies in the real world. You can take a closer look at her impressive work via her Facebook page or on her website. Good. 
in this video, we see two base jumpers race to the top of an abandoned building in South Africa to see who can jump first. You can watch their daring display all the way through on the GoPro YouTube channel. Thank you. 